And Caitlin. Good morning. Here's an example of not everyone being happy, Lori. Late last night, Medicaid, Medicaid expansion bill passed. So that will provide or cover 70,000 Utahns who are living under the poverty level with this type of insurance. But while Governor Herbert praising this as a victory, folks like those at the Alliance for a Better Utah, they sent out a press release yesterday saying Utahns should know that so much more could have been done. They say for four years now, our legislators could have fully expanded Medicaid health coverage, giving this coverage to over 100,000 Utahns, and they go on and on. So you can just see here a controversy still despite the ending of the legislative session. Another thing Governor Herbert brought up was he was grateful that for the unexpected compromise between lawmakers and the Our Schools Now initiative. I hope it's not lost on anybody, certainly not lost on me, that you've been able to come together with business leaders and outside groups, the Our Schools Now, and come to a significant compromise, which is in the best interest of the taxpayers of Utah. Now let's break down what that means for Utahns this morning. It will mean paying more for gasoline possibly and property taxes. So right now what you should expect is come November um, you'll have to vote on supporting raising gas type taxes um, for 10 percent a gallon. Now this is a non-binding vote so lawmakers will actually have the final say. Also property taxes would freeze for five years if this goes through um, paying more um, uh, you know as the value of your house in Increases. So Governor Herbert, though, does seem to be a fan of that one. So we'll continue to keep you posted, especially with that vote come November. And another piece, I think, of legislation that's really important to Utahns is more protections in domestic violence. There's This law has been applied now after the tragic shooting in Sandy last year. You, can, you might remember the ex-boyfriend of Memory Rackley and her young son. This ex-boyfriend killed both of them. So now victims in a dating relationship in Utah can get protective orders as well. Back to you. That